Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and today we're going to talk about the further doom and gloom of GameStop, namely the pre-order policy that's changed. But why is it changing? We're about to find out. Okay, so as you may know, if you follow a clickbait YouTuber, you may have heard about the story of GameStop changing their pre-order policy. Basically, the skinny of it is, back in the past, whenever you pre-ordered a game, whether or not you picked up the game, if it's been more than 30 days, you can still get your cash back on the money that you put down on the pre-order. Now they're changing it to where, after 30 days, you will only be able to get store credit back, so you'll only be able to put that money back towards another purchase. Now, why is this relevant? There is actually a very good reason for this. Now, some people, when they do research, they'll find out the real reason. And part of it is, of course, the fact that GameStop has been on financially struggling times at this time. They've been losing money. They've lost over $480 million in their last quarterly report. Big deal, indeed. But the thing is, there is another reason. And that's because GameStop, with the way that the system used to work... People literally used GameStop as a money bank. Yes, I know it sounds ridiculous, but it is true. There are people out there that have reported on the internet that they were able to use GameStop in a way to more or less hold their financial transactions. As ridiculous as that sounds, that's something that people actually do. Now, why would they do that? It's simple. Some people, they don't have bank accounts, but they want to find a way to save money. Maybe they want to save money for a bill or to buy a gift for somebody or so on. But they want to hide that money in a safe place. They don't want to hide it at their home where it could get robbed or something like that, for example. Or they'll be encouraged to spend it. So they want a safe place that they can put that money, but they don't have a bank account. Maybe they're not aware of the process that it takes to get a bank account and all that good stuff. So... That's where a company like GameStop actually gave people, believe it or not, a way to have a financial transaction that they could store cash money and pull it out at a later date when the need arises. I know it sounds ridiculous, but top of that, anytime you pre-order games at GameStop, you often get free swag. You get DLC codes, you get posters, you get keychains, you get all kinds of knickknacks just for simply pre-ordering games. Not to mention the ability to play betas for upcoming games and so on. So when you look at it in that perspective, there's actually a lot of reasons why somebody would put their money in the GameStop, at least if they don't have a traditional bank account. But at this day and age, it's really not hard to get a bank account. There are free checking accounts that usually require just a minimal amount of money to start. And oftentimes you can even withdraw that money out the same day to start it. They just need a base level of income in order to actually start that account. So people should definitely look into that. There's also, of course, prepaid debit cards and so on, where you can load your money onto those. But that being said, that's why they're doing this, because this pre-order benefit that they had before, the way this method worked, how would it have benefited GameStop? What benefit would GameStop have to hold on to that money and then give it back to you without any kind of demands at your will at any time later on. You can pre-order a game six months later. After it comes out, maybe you change your mind about getting the game, and you go get your 60 bucks back. How does that benefit GameStop? I, I know, right? It doesn't make a lot of sense. They are a business, and whenever you give them money, the idea is that they're going to keep that money that you give them in exchange for the good or service that you're buying from them. That's typically how businesses work, how retail stores work. And the way this pre-order method worked, how would that have benefited them? If anything, it's a cost-cutting maneuver by changing this altogether. I know there's probably not a lot of people that use this benefit, but there were people that did it, as you've clearly seen. I've got links in the description below if you want to see more about this. After all, I've even heard a GameStop employee called it bank stop to me before apparently it's a known phenomenon so it's kind of interesting but hey if you do your research you know you learn till then down phoenix out